Hello, I'm Jessica, a volunteer at the Open Insulin Foundation. For World Diabetes Day and Giving Tuesday, I'm here to talk to you about how we plan to make insulin safely. The goal of the Open Insulin Foundation is to reduce the cost of insulin while maintaining the highest levels of quality and safety. We plan to abide by all FDA regulations to make the highest possible quality of insulin. We will not compromise on safety or quality. We plan to leverage three important points to achieve this vision. The first is that insulin has been around for a long time and the process to make insulin at scale is very well known and publicly accessible. This is important because we can build on already existing knowledge and protocols. The second way we can do this is by partnering with existing organizations to help us meet quality requirements. More on that later. The final thing we can take advantage of is recent changes in the FDA regulations around insulin. First, let's talk about what a regulatory pathway is. Regulatory pathways are established methods to get approval of a drug, medical device, or biologic to be brought to market. The benefit of a regulatory pathway is they create a uniform means of developing safe products to be sold. The recent addition of the biosimilar BLA pathway, or the biologics licensing application, continues to ensure safe insulin while reducing the cost of achieving the regulatory benchmarks required of a biologic such as insulin. Recently, the Biologics Price Competition and Innovation Act, or BPCI Act, went into effect in March of this year after being enacted in 2009. The BPCI Act is an abbreviated pathway for the approval of biologics. Under the BPCI Act, insulin is now defined as a biologic medicine, that is, a complex molecule made from natural materials. The implementation of the BPCI Act and the classification of insulin as a biologic redirects regulatory focus to data from analytical studies that prove interchangeability between developing insulin and insulins already on the market. This reduces the cost and time needed to fulfill the regulatory requirements and make insulin more affordable in turn. As you can see from this figure, under these new regulations, we no longer have to do clinical trials. We expect this to save about $4 million. We still will have to prove our insulin is equivalent to one already on the market. This will involve biophysical activity and toxicology studies. We plan to do this in collaboration with labs that are inspected and regulated by the FDA. In order to ensure that drugs are manufactured safely, they need to be produced under good manufacturing practices or GMP guidelines. GMP covers all aspects of manufacturing, from cleaner and facility design, to airflow, to training of personnel, as well as how drugs are assessed for safety and quality. In order to get our drugs to market as fast and safely as possible, we will partner with the Contract Manufacturing Organization, or CMO. The use of CMOs is very common in the pharmaceutical industry. They handle all GMP and FDA inspection requirements, freeing up Open Insulin Foundation to concentrate on developing open source protocols and getting insulin to people who need it. We have a great multidisciplinary team working on all aspects of the project. We would love for you to get involved in this and join the team. Please consider donating time or money to this innovative project. Thank you.